Hello Internet, and welcome to the third part in our pixel shader circle thing. Uh, I should really come up with a better name for that. Uh, so this is sort of where we left off. We have circles, and we also have this, which draws a, a pixelated grid of things. And so what I want to do is combine these. And so the first step, uh, I, I guess really what these two are doing, this is turning a zero to one coordinate space into a grid of specific pixels. And then this other one is turning a zero to one coordinate space into a circle. So what I want to do is instead of making this a grid of pixels, a grid of points, I want to make this into a grid of zero to one pixel or coordinate spaces. So each of these uh, boxes here, each of these pixels, I want to turn into a range from 0 to 1, and both the x and the y. And then once we've done that, we can just plug in our, our circle and everything should, should work. Uh, so that's sort of the progression that I kind of want to do. So we'll start by getting rid of this and sort of trying to go to a, our red and green mapping inside each of these of what the coordinate space actually is doing here. So we're working on this shader, which looks like this. Uh, so this is generating a, a thing. <laughs> so it's generating a point here and doing things like this. That was poor, poor description. Uh, but what it's doing is multiplying things, so spreading them out and then aligning them onto uh, the integer boundaries, uh, and then reducing that back down. And so I haven't really, really figured this out yet because I, I've never done this before. So we're going to kind of poke at it and see what happens. But I, I think I, I have some ideas uh, whether they work. I, <laughs> I don't know, but we're, we're going to see. So we have a, well, I guess we need to make a decision. Is this the, is this position? the center or the middle or, or that th those are the same thing is this the center or a corner or what what is it uh and, and then from there we can kind of kind of figure things out and then we have to figure out some way to actually hold on will that work so what i'm thinking we can do is this can be our uh, bottom left corner. Uh, and so that will be the corner. And then if we subtract uh, position minus equal our input, uh, that's not right, in dot uv main text dot uv, that will get us how far off this is each time. Uh, that's not going to be perfect, uh, and it, that might be bigger than I want. Ah, it doesn't know what UV is. That makes sense. Let's do XY. There we go. Uh, so this could all be black. This is probably going to all be black. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of kind of expected. Let's render our position instead. Uh, so float three, position X, position Y, and zero. Uh, so we should see like a red green combination here. And so if we do this, we get, uh, you can kind of see it. It's probably lost in the encoding, but there is a slight line here. I think what I can do to bring that out a little bit more is turn this down to, to uh, eighths. And so what, what's ending up happening here is the this is taking the difference but it's taking the difference over the entire size of zero to one these cells are only an eighth of that and so what we want to do is also position uh divided by equals is it a division no it's a multiplication uh times equals the float two of our width and our height. And so this should do something like that. It's inverted though, <laughs> because the, the black is in the top right instead of the bottom left. Uh, so that's not exactly what I want, 
but we're we're getting close. Also, uh, it's centered, uh, which also isn't really what we wanted, but it's close. Uh, and so so this should sort of be our coordinate system. I imagine if we do something like a a floor, we might get closer on these. Yeah. So let's change this to a ceiling. All right, we moved in. So what I'm doing, the reason I'm doing that is because we moved in one direction and that was the wrong direction. Uh, so like we, we saw everything kind of shifted uh, towards the black, but I want the only black pixel to be in the top right. Uh, so we invert that and we get a, uh, I think I used a floor and that gets us to this point. And then we want to invert this uh, because I want black in the bottom left and it's currently in the top right so let us invert that so position times equals actually minus equals uh, float to I can't do it like this uh, we have to say equals float to one one and minus position. Uh, and so I'm just subtracting the position from well, one. Uh, and so that should invert this, hopefully. Yeah. So now we have green and red and everything's good. We've got this set of cells. And so the next thing, uh, now that we have these, we can actually plug these positions in. And so instead of using UV coordinates for our circle, like we were using here, Instead, I can just use the uh, the position, uh, which I actually have already there. Uh, so this might cause problems, but uh, circle position. So we'll just swap all of those out. And then when we're using a UV here, we can just plug in position instead. And now we have this distance uh, value which is going to be the distance inside of that cell from our point. And then we just need to plug in this step function like this. And we can plug it in, whoa, like that. And so we should see that uh, red, green gradient effect thing. Uh, let's do that again there so you can actually see it. But we should see the red green gradient, but we should see them in circles uh, instead. And so, so parts of it should be cut off. Yeah, like that. Cool. Uh, so this is working. And now uh, this is actually going really smoothly. I shouldn't jinx it, but it's a I'm surprised that we haven't broken things. Uh, but we can do something like this. And then really the only other thing I need is to do to swap out this uh, position rendering with our C dot RGB. And that's going to take a specific sampling from our texture and draw that. So we should see, oh, right, because we're using position and we're modifying it here. So let's save this. Uh, so at the end of this is our cell color effectively. And so I want to save that so we actually have something for our cell to draw. Uh, so this will be a float to of our cell position. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, so cell position equals position. There we go. And then instead of using our position here, we're going to use the cell position. Uh, that prevents us from getting that repeated texture because we don't actually, we don't want that. Huzzah, cool, that's awesome. Uh, so we get a globe made out of circles. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, that worked out surprisingly well. Uh, I didn't even really know what I was going to do for this, but it, it turned out all right. Uh, so yeah, I guess lesson learned, break things into small parts, and then it becomes relatively relatively straightforward. Uh, to kind of break it down, uh, go back and kind of show what's actually happening. We are 
dividing the entire thing into a grid. Uh, so I'll just leave comments here. Divide UV space into a grid. Cool. Save the cell position. Uh, position for color lookup. And so we're dividing it into a grid, looking up the color from this position. And then this, uh, divide the cell into zero to one UV micro space. Uh, that's not a word, but we're gonna make it one. Uh, and so each of those cells becomes its own zero to one grid of, of floating point space. And then we can, we can do fan, fun things in there. And in this case, I use micro space to draw a circle. Cool. Done. That, that, that's, that's all we needed to do. <laughs> so, so I guess this is how you'd make a, a pixelated thing. There's one more step that I kind of want to do for this. Uh, and that is to make the width of each of these variable, but we will do that in a separate video. So, uh, stay tuned for that and it should be coming shortly. Uh, yeah, but that's it for this video. So, uh, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up and, and let me know. Uh, if you really liked it, consider subscribing and, and, uh, maybe, maybe joining our discord, which is down in the description. If you want to play with this code, it's going to be out on GitHub. Uh, so you can go and play with it there. If you run into any issues or, or you think we can improve some things, uh, create a GitHub issue or, or leave a comment or let me know in some other way. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. So until next time. See you, internet.